by connecting the viewer to the, to the reality, the scientific reality, science becomes this thing that dispels a lot of the questions for us. And with the piece, a cryptic species complex, things that are cryptic in nature are ambiguous. It's not clear what they are. And this piece shows 10 butterflies that appear to be identical. And it's a very pivotal thing in the history of DNA barcoding because this piece represents the 10 butterflies that were, that were used to help prove that DNA barcoding was a, uh, uh, a reliable taxonomic tool. And um, uh, Dr. Jansen gave Dr. Hebert a box of uh, 40 or so Astraptes butterflies and said, if DNA barcoding works, you can tell me what each one of these things is. He knew that they were all different, although they had been classified as one species. And the reason Dr. Jansen knew they were different is because he had reared each one of these butterflies from a caterpillar and had been doing so for many years. So by doing the sequencing uh, or the barcoding and having each one of the sequence connect correctly to one of the different butterflies, you know, we were able to say, this is a viable tool. And from there, barcoding has become a, uh, a major form of, uh, of uh, it's a become a big taxonomic tool that's allowed us to understand the diversity that, the much greater diversity than, that is in the world than we had originally believed. Being able to have some sort of a concrete um, way to really grasp how diverse the world is, the, the world like it, just outside of the door here, the natural world, uh, after having thought it was a certain thing for so many hundred years is amazing to me. Again, tying into this idea that the world is really this blurred reality for us.